This song is called I Have a Plan for You. Uh, it is off my new album, Unfailing Love. Um, I suppose this could be a worship song. We have not done this in worship, but it's a very simple song, and today you're getting two lessons in one. Um, I'm going to show you a little bit of finger picking technique. Very simple, very basic, but I use it in this song. If you know the song, um, you will recognize this. So, to play this song, well, first of all, I'll tell you a bit about this song. I Have a Plan for You comes from Jeremiah chapter 29. Many people are familiar with verse 11. For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. This uh, song is about that whole chapter. So, if you read the whole chapter, you get a bit more of a perspective of what's going on. The nation of Israel is in exile, and God sends them a letter. The chapter heading is a letter to the exiles. And he says, you're going to be there for 70 years, which is a long time, by the way. And uh, while that might not be very good news, the letter is full of hope. My favorite part is, I forget what verse it is, but it says, in these days when you seek me, you will find me. When you call me, uh, you will be found by me. So I love that part. That's what this song is about. Um, the song is about the fact that while we as Christians here on this earth, um, the Bible says that uh, one day we will live with God forever in heaven. So one day God will bring us home. But in the meantime, there's hope. That's what this is about. To play this song, you will be using uh, chords in the key of G, if you play it like I do. Um, so G, C, I use a G over a B a lot in this song, and then D. And to play the D, you can play this D suspended second, or you can play a regular D major, or a D suspended fourth. Uh, it's all good, either way. Whatever you like. Put the capo on the second fret, which means you are in the key of A. So if you just played open G chords, you're in the key of G. If you would put your capo on the first fret, one half step up from G is G sharp or A flat. And then if you go to the second fret, you are in A. If you would continue to go up, you would be in B flat. Capo four would be B. But we're gonna be capo two using G chords, which means we're in the key of A. So finger picking, that's how this song intros. It goes G, C, G over B, C. To do this, you're just gonna use these three fingers, your thumb, your first, and your second finger. Your thumb will pluck the bass string. So in G, it will pluck the low E string. When you're playing C and G over B, it'll pluck the A string. Low E and A. Now, your one and two fingers are going to sit on the E, A, D, G, and B strings. So, your first finger is on the G string, your second finger is on the B string, and that's all that you need to do. And so, to pick this pattern out, you just go one, two, three, four, or thumb, one, two, one. So it sounds like this, just count to four, one, two, three, four. So thumb, one, two, one, thumb, one, two, one. Very simple, very basic. So to play the intro, you just keep doing this, and you go G. Then go to C. Then go to G over B. Back to C, and that's it. Again, G, C, G over B, C. And when you do the intro, you play the same thing. It goes like this. This is not your home. I have a plan for you. Back to C. A plan for you. Keep 
going? In these dark days, you'll find me. G over B. When you seek my face, you find me. When you call my name, you find me. And that's a D. So when you play a D, you do the same thing, except your thumb hits the root note of the D string, which is, of the D chord, which is the D string. I have a plan. Now we're in the chorus. So the chorus goes a plan G for you, C. I will be good, G over B, to you, back to C. And I am the Lord your God is G, Lord your God. And then we go to a D, and I will not, then G over B, ever let you, and then go a C. Bring you home, G over B, to C. I'll bring you home, G over B, to C. So don't lose hope, is G over B, to C. I'll bring you home, G over B, to C. I will play it, and then we'll get to the next section. So here we go. Because I have a plan. I will be good to you. I am the Lord your God, and I will not ever let you go. I'll bring you home. That's G over B to C. I'll bring you home. that root note of the C chord. One thing you might notice is that when I go to the C, I don't play the full C. I don't put my index finger down on that D string. Uh, it's because for two reasons. One, I'm never plucking that D string when I'm plucking this little pattern. The other thing is, is so I can very easily just sneak it under onto the second fret of the A string to get that G over B chord. If I were to strum it, which I will here in just a second, uh, you can still leave this index finger off and just mute the D string with your second finger so your doesn't ring out. Okay, so the end of the chorus. Bring you home. It ends on this C. One, two, three, four. Strong. Okay, so it goes back into In These Dark Days. There are not very many parts to this song. It just kind of repeats some. So, it's on a G, and it's just down, 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 down. G over B. Back to C. I'm the Lord your God. It's G. So it's basically the, the same thing we did earlier, except instead of finger picking, you're strumming. I like to do all down strums until I get into the chorus because it sort of builds a tension, and then in the chorus is like the tension is released and it, the song gets bigger. So it goes like this. Uh, bring you home. Okay, now we're going to strum. In these dark days, you'll find me. I have a plan for you. 
to the chorus with the finger picking. Cause I have a plan for you. I will be good to you. I am the Lord your God, and I will not ever let you go. I'll bring you home. I'll bring you. It's going to end right here. I'll bring you home. I'll bring you home on the sea. And if you want, you can resolve to a G. That's it. I have a plan for you. Now I have a, <laughs> I have a video, not a plan, a video, uh, two videos actually of one is of me playing this acoustic. I have two albums that this song is on. One is an acoustic album. And there is a video, um, and I'm sure I will put a link to it somewhere in this video or down below, where you can also find chord charts. Um, so a link to the acoustic video, where I played it just about like I did here, and then a link to the, uh, the Unfailing Love album video, which is like a bigger deal with the full band. So you can play along uh, to both of those videos and uh, what I just showed you will follow exactly what uh, those videos do. So thank you for watching. Thanks for your interest in the music that I write. That is, uh, means a lot to me. I really appreciate it. And uh, I think as I outro this video, I'll give myself backing music again. It's so nice. All right. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.